have learned thus far. If you can read, and count, and tell time, then you can cook. Hi guys, Shira here. Wait one moment while I conjure up my guest. Hi guys, Meira here. Wait, this isn't right. That's better. So, you haven't seen Meira in quite a while, quite a few months. Meira. Yes, Shira. So, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since we've last seen you in Seriously Yours? Well, I've been studying a lot, becoming very holy, and um, learning lots of Torah. So, Hanukkah, as you might know, it's coming up another week. One week. Exactly a week, probably. We light tonight. the first candle. Mm -hmm. We light the first candle a week from tonight. Personally, um, I don't have many plans other than studying because I have two huge exams right after Hanukkah, so it's not really much of a vacation for me. But actually, my cousin is coming in and she's staying with me in my apartment, so that should be fun. Um, keep me company while I study away. Um, Ira, what are your plans for Hanukkah? Oh, I have a lot of plans. My school's organizing lots of trips. On Thursday night, we're going to our Mechanech's house for a misiba. And what is exactly is a Mechanech for my viewers who don't know it's the lingo? Our schools divide, all the students are divided into five groups, Kutzot, and each Kutzah has a Madricha, who's a Shanabet girl, who's like our counselor. counselor yeah. And we have a Rakhezet, who's our little mother, I guess. And we have Mechanech, who's our own personal rabbi. So we're going to his house for a little party, and that's Thursday night. On Sunday, we're going to Beit Guvrin. It's caving. And on Tuesday, we're going to Ein Gedi. And if it rains on Tuesday, we're going to actually switch the trips. We're going to go to Ein Gedi on Sunday and Beit Guvrin on Tuesday. Wait a second, that doesn't even make sense. So what, you're going to go Sunday, and then you're going to go to Beit Guvrin. And then it's going to be Monday, and then it's going to be Tuesday, and then, oh no, it's Tuesday, it's raining. What, you're going to like go turn back time and then switch around the trip, so that way it, it turned out that in fact you had gone to Ein Gedi on Sunday, and then, and then Beit Guvrin on Tuesday? That's what I was thinking at first, but actually, <laughs> on Friday, they're going to look at the weather predictions. And they will see if it's supposed to rain on Sunday, then they'll switch the trips. If it's not supposed to rain on Sunday, they'll go. Um, I actually have to say something about the weather in Israel. Don't trust the weather forecast, because it's usually not correct. It just goes to show that when it comes to the weather in Israel, God is in charge. So that's all for this week. Tomorrow, Thursday, I am going to Eilat for the weekend. Um, Eilat is all the way down south where it's summer, and I'm very, very looking forward to that. When the student council of Mahontel sent out an email for the trip, guess who was the first one to sign up? You got that right. I think I'm going to put this down now. So...